Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Zach Butler YGO here. So I was just hanging out, um, just playing some games, you know, trying to climb up on the ladder, and uh, I saw that there was a new notification. Um, you know, there's the event for Tryout Duel, which is pretty fun. You get uh, a free pack of uh, the Sprite. Uh, I can't remember the name of the Sprite pack, but the Sprite pack um, for doing three du for winning three duels, which is whatever. But I noticed that there was two new uh, announcements as well. Which uh, one of them is a new selection pack will be here uh, on March eighth, which is pretty great. So that's three days from the time of recording this, um, and it's called Strong Will. Uh, what it has in it is uh, a new cyber archetype, G Golem. So I'm sure Shiggy's will be excited about that one. Um, and then cards that give Gem Knights and Crystal Beasts cards as well. So it'll be really cool to see. Um, you can see in addition to the Ultra Rare G Golem Invalid Dolmen. Uh, Ultra Rare G or Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon Overdrive, Kelbeck the Ancient Vanguard, that's a huge one, and Kurikara Div Incarnate. Others will be included. So the last two are especially interesting because Kurikara Div Incarnate is actually one of the cards I was initially kind of seen as a counter to the sprite strategy that we've talked about on the channel before. So that'll be really exciting. Um, it's a great board breaking card, and Kelbeck the Ancient Vanguard means that. The Shizu Fairies are going to be included in the game. Uh, the Shizu Fairy retrains have been incredibly dominant in their time in the TCG. They're already all limited to one after just like, th what was it? They came out, I think, in November. So they made it till February, so it's like four months, and that's it. And they already got limited to one. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. Um, so they mention uh, the G Golem archetype. Um, Lady Rose Diamond, and then this will also be the end of the Heroic Warriors pack. So if there's anything in that pack that you're trying to get, make sure that you get it uh, soon, because this pack will be going away, and you'll have to craft it and or get about a master pack if you're lucky, things like that. The other, and I think more important thing, though, is that the Forbidden Limited list is getting updated, and it'll be implemented on March 9th. So it'll be the day after this new set comes out. So that means that we'll have one full day with the new cards and the list, before the new list kicks in. And you might be wondering, okay, well, what are the changes? Um, the changes are simply three cards to be semi-limited. And it's Keldo, the Sacred Protector, Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard, and Aikido, the Ancient Sentinel, which are all three Ishizu Fairy retrains, all three of which are played very commonly in mill strategies. So the Runic deck, which we already saw, like all the utility cards get limited to two, that's going to be really good for them to see Keldo, Kelbeck, Agito, and potentially even Mudora if Mudora gets included, which it probably will be, but it's the weakest of the four. Um, for those who don't know what they do, Keldo and Mudora each have an effect where they can banish themselves from the graveyard to sh target three cards in either graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck, or five cards if you have Exchange of the Spirit in the graveyard. Um, and Kelbeck and Nagito can each mill five cards from both players if cards are if if they're sent to the graveyard. Um, so in the Runic deck, for example, if you activate one of your Runic spells and you discard a Kelbeck or a Gido to search for Fountain, you can then mill five cards and mill a bunch of Runic spells, so you can get to that draw three even faster. So that's gonna make that deck a lot more powerful for ranked play. It'll be really interesting to see what happens. I know this is like a super spur of the moment, random like late night video, and I, I look awful and it's crazy, but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is coming up, so if you have some gems and you're trying to figure out what you want to spend them on, maybe hold them for this new, for this next set, because if you're like a Crystal Beast player, a Cybers player, a Runic player, or you just want to have like the best new cards you can, this set's going to be big for you guys. Uh, until next time, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.